Hi there, welcome to today's market analysis. So for today's session over here, we're covering on the dollar cat, the dollar franc, as well as the dollar yen. So first up over here, let's take a look at dollar cat. Okay, so dollar cat recently on the forward time frame has established a low um, around at 1.2607 or 1.26 area. Okay, and um, looking at the development over here, as long as the market is able to maintain above this area, we're going to hold a bullish bias on dollar cap. Okay. But any potential setup over here that we're looking out for would be a buy opportunity. And the confirmation level, I would say, is if the market is able to break off this recent high here, impulsively above 1.2765, then it's going to be increasing the probability to the upside. A primary target that we can look out for is somewhere around 1.2965. And as long as the market is able again to maintain above this zone, we're going to hold on to a bullish bias and any form of consolidation or retracement might be a potential buy opportunity for dollar cap. Now the other pair over here is on dollar Swiss franc. Um, on the 4 hour time frame, what we see right now is that it has completed its 1, 2, 3 wave development. And uh, the third wave here looks like it's a diagonal that has just been completed. And of course, that also established the recent low somewhere around 0 0.9104. And as long as the market is able to maintain above this level, we're going to hold on to a bullish bias, which that we're going to look up for buy opportunity on the dollar Swiss franc. Now it has also established a recent high here around 0 0.9, 0 0.92. So a break above that impulsively would be the confirmation that we probably need to see market to hit higher. One primary target objective they can look out for is somewhere around 0 0.9360, which is its previous high over here. Okay, that's on the dollar Swiss franc. Overall, we'll be looking out for buy opportunity. Now the last one over here we're going to touch on is on the dollar Swiss yen. Recently, it has managed to break above this level at 115.50. And the break happens um, in a very impulsive manner, which is going to continue to show the bullish bias of the dollar yen. However, because this is just an impulse push that happened recently, we're going to remain patient and uh, wait for a little bit more sign from the market to tell us whether the momentum is going to continue to the upside or are we going to see a potential reversal. So for dollar yen over here, we're going to primarily maintain um, a bullish directional bias, but we're going to be very patient for that. So if you're actively trading the market, we'll suggest that, uh, again, a general reminder to always manage your risk. And hopefully today's analysis here is able to help you. And we'll see you guys in next episode.